Right. Well, uh, looking pretty good out there. Yeah, it's a quiet morning now. We are going to see some changes, and that's going to be some showers working in by the late morning, early afternoon. We'll see more widespread rain today, so keep the rain jacket handy. We're about 10 degrees warmer than what we saw yesterday in the upper 30s, so relatively warmer, but still cold, so you'll want that jacket, maybe some gloves out there. Dew point at 36 degrees. Fog isn't so much an issue as it was yesterday. There are some pockets of some light fog, so just be careful uh, driving through those with that reduced visibility. Sunrise at 7.06 our sunset tonight at 5:43 p.m. We're just increasing that daylight every single day here. Again, down the valley, we're still in the mid to upper 30s, so a little bit warmer than what we saw yesterday at the coast in the 30s and low 40s. Where we're cold is Mount Hood in the teens now, and Central Oregon. Uh, those temperatures this morning in the low to mid 20s. So we are cold out there. A uh, little less cloud coverage out there, really allowing for that cooling overnight. So here are our showers now, mainly aimed at the foothills of the Cascades. But there is a light drizzle out there in spots, so do be careful. Some roads will be wet out there. Again, these showers will really ramp up as we head towards our afternoon and especially evening and overnight as our next system here approaches. You can see that cold front uh, just sweeping down there now. So that's going to push in some more rain as we head towards tonight and into Wednesday. So we'll start to see those showers trickling in here. Likely noon hour and beyond. First for the coast though, about 11 a.m. We'll see those showers there hitting the coast, but again, still pretty dry for most areas here in the valley uh, at the noon hour. By the early afternoon, those showers do start to ramp up again. We'll see those moving in and lingering into our evening, even heavy showers at times. Uh, winds from the south again, causing a lot of energy and instability here in our atmosphere. We could see uh, maybe a pop up thunderstorm at the coast today. I think those will mainly stay out towards the coast and in the foothills of the coast range. But for us looking at rain showers heading into today and tonight. South winds will really keep us too warm to see snow uh, down to the valley floor, so all that snow will stick uh, towards the mountaintops and especially at elevations at about 3,000 feet and above some significant snowfall going into tomorrow morning. Thursday does look dry. By Friday, we'll see our next system rolling in, so we'll exit the uh, work week here with more rain, but Thursday does look like, look like a good dry day for us, so keep that in mind. Here are weather alerts, so winter weather advisory out for the North Cascades, a winter storm warning for the central and south. South Cascades, a lot more snow, but anywhere above 2,000 to 3,000 feet, likely to see about six inches, even close to a foot or more of snow heading into tonight. So the system working in really adding that moisture to the mountains, some good snowpack uh, for us down in eastern and central Oregon. Some of the valley floor may see one to three inches uh, more for the upper elevations. Here's government camp, snow packed roads. Be careful out there today with that new snow. We will see difficult travel. Our ski forecast temperatures in the 20s and heavy snow and high winds heading into tonight. Here's a zone plan of rain showers again return for many areas heading into today. We'll keep it wet going into Wednesday, but drying out there on Thursday. Carly.